Hi guys! Um, sorry that I have kind of been a little bit absent recently. You may be able to tell somewhat slightly from my background. Um, I have been packing up to move. Um, so I've been busy and the days off I've had haven't really been much day offy, if you will. Um, I've kind of had to just get on with stuff to do with moving and it's stressful but I decided I should probably actually film a video before we move otherwise it's going to be even longer because we probably won't have internet for a little while so apologies that I'm not being very consistent life just gets in the way sometimes um, so um, another problem is that I have actually filmed this video once before um, but the footage that I filmed decided it didn't want to work so I didn't have time to refilm the video on the day that I did it and it just kind of had to get lost and I've had to come back weeks later and film it again which is kind of annoying because you know at least I would have had something in the middle of that break but never mind I'm here I'm I'm not leaving my channel don't worry um it's just that I've been really really busy with having to be a responsible adult unfortunately <laughs> so hello I'm here still um this video as you can probably tell is going to be about uh, my first ever concert gig whatever you'd like to call it show um and a few like tips that I've learned that I feel like are quite obvious but I'm going to tell you anyways because I was requested to do this video so thank you very much for the suggestion and I hope this is kind of what you were looking for if not I'm really sorry but yeah and this video will hopefully be as good or maybe even as bad as the last one because I can't tell you because I can't watch it again because it's gone anyway so long term short Vicky what was your first ever gig now I had seen a couple of bands and things before this but the first band I ever saw at first act first live thing that I ever saw because I wanted to see it and I was so happy to get tickets for it is Evanescence. Shock and horror I know. Um. Anyways yes so I was 12 years old it was the height of the Fallen Tour this was when Evanescence were big they were really famous at this point and um, it was £20 a ticket to see Evanescence. I wish it was still that price now. It's not even that price to see Epica now. Like, I don't think I could go to any gig for that price now, which is kind of sad because they're getting more and more expensive. It's a good job I don't like many bands. Cause, well, not that I don't like many bands, but it's a good job that I only fan of a limited band so that I don't have to pay too much with my limited funds. Anyways, yeah, so. That was the first ever thing I saw um, and I went with my um, really good friend, still one of my best friends, absolutely adore her, her name is Sophie and I went with my dad because obviously we were quite young and we couldn't get to, um, it was in Sheffield and we couldn't get to Sheffield on our own so my dad took us and um, obviously chaperoned us and we sat in the seats because obviously we were children and it's not... I'm not judging if, if this happened to you at all, but I just think it's not the best idea to go to a big arena show as a child and be in the standing. It's not the safest. Um, so I approve of my parents' decision to only let me have seating, even if at the time I was a little bit like, mm, about it. <laughs> but it was the right choice. Thank you, mum and dad. Anyway, so uh, we were sat, say for example that this is the stage here, we were sat in the seats along the side looking um, at the band very close. Um, we were pretty much basically where the front row of the standing people were but seated. So we had a really good view of the band. I can't you know say that I didn't I didn't get to see Evanescence because I did. I got a beautiful view um, and it was just after Ben left and Terry had replaced him and it was actually how me and my friend found out that Ben had been replaced. So we were a bit like um, who's this? Even though now, if you if you know anything about my Evanescence fandom, I prefer Terry Balsamore and I love him and I am really sad that he's not in Evanescence anymore. Anyways, I, we're moving, we're, we're going on an Evanescence front now. So that was the first ever band I saw. Um, the support band was Siva and we were actually in the first ever UK audience to hear the song Broken, which 
is amazing. I'm, I'm glad that I have some sort of milestone for Evanescence. Um, and Hoobastank was supposed to be there but didn't show for whatever reason. Something had gone on and they couldn't make it. So we only got two out of the three bands that we were meant to get. But let's face it, like again, 12 year old me wasn't even really that bothered about Seaver apart from the Emily bit. So I wasn't too upset that there was another band, you know, making it longer till I would actually see Evanescence. Anyway, so that was my first ever show and I loved it, obviously. Um, even my dad had a good time, my best friend Sophie had an amazing time. Like, we were just absolutely the biggest little fangirls ever and like people were bringing their kids, like there was babies. Um, people like had babies in little Evanescence uh, onesies and it was like such a family environment which is really weird but um, yeah it was, it was just a really lovely amazing show and I am grateful that that is an experience I have in my life. So yes, that's the first ever gig I went to. Um, so now I'm going to talk about kind of like tips, things, like little guidelines. Um, and I hope that, you know, these are kind of, to me, that I feel like they're going to be quite obvious. But it's just, you know, just in case you wanted to know. And just because I want everyone to have the nicest and safest time there. Um, so my first rule was one that I actually nearly broke. Um, and I, I've even spoke about it on this channel go with your friends or family like don't go on your own basically which was what I was going to do for Epica in London but because it was London I, my boyfriend was like I'll go with you because it, it wouldn't have, it wasn't really the best idea and I don't think it's very safe to go completely on your own because I hate to say it but there's going to be someone there who's going to ruin that for you in, in a bad way and I don't I just want you to be safe like I, I just I feel like I'm being really horrible by saying there's going to be some awful human being at the gig you're at but it's just a safety precaution and I don't want anyone to end up hurt because they were on their own so yeah that's my first rule and alongside that um is always have somewhere to stay and again I speak from experience this happened to me when I was around I'm going to say 16 me and a few of my friends went to see Lacuna Coil and we went to see them in Liverpool. Now this was when we I was living in Scarborough and after about 10 o'clock at night something like that like before the gig had even finished is the last train from Liverpool to Scarborough so we got as far as York and we slept in York station. This, this was in like July or August and it was freezing it is like the coldest I've ever been we were just shivering and they lock all the waiting rooms overnight obviously because there's no staff there um so we were literally just out on the platforms freezing until like six o'clock in the morning whenever that first train came and we could actually get back home again and then we went home to bed and actually slept uh, yeah it was awful <laughs> so I would always 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 make sure that you can get home or that you have somewhere to stay don't do what I did and sleep in a train station. Sleep. Um, don't sleep on the streets. Like I've, I actually know a guy who slept in a grit bin because he missed the last train home. Don't do that, <laughs> please. Like I want again. I want you to be safe. Please have a safe place. Get a hotel. Stay with your friend. Get someone to come pick you up. Make sure you can get a train or a bus or something. Just please make sure you are somewhere safe for the night because sleeping in a train station is horrible so don't do it so that's my next tip um then i would also say next one is don't take a large bag or like lots of bags or wear like loose pockety clothing where you have all your valuables in them again this is a sad point but this is something that my dad has always embedded in me because he obviously grew up with the punk scene and um he was a big part of that like he's he has toured with some punk bands and you know he knows a lot of people in the industry so he has always said to me do not give them anyone an opportunity to easily steal something from your person wear like tight jeans and put whatever you have that you the minimum values that you valuables that you have because don't take loads of valuables in your pockets and make sure they are like on your person where you can feel them and hopefully on the front of you don't take like a huge rucksack that someone can just open up and rifle through if you have to have some sort of um 
bag with you for whatever reason, put it in a cloakroom so that no one can get into it while you're enjoying the gig. And I agree with him, like this is a sensible rule. So I have never taken like a bag or anything into a gig. I always wear jeans or shorts that are quite form fitting so that I can put things in my pocket. I don't take a lot of things into gigs. I never take like keys unless I'm gonna have to get a train afterwards but I try and get somewhere to stay if I can't get home. Um, Cause normally bands don't come to where I live. Like Yorkshire is not a place where a lot of the bands I like like to come, unfortunately. Anyways, so yeah, back to the point. Um, so yeah, I will literally take like the ticket, a bit of money, if I have some sort of like train ticket or whatever, that will be with me, and my phone, and my keys if needed. Oh, and a lip balm because <laughs> I have to live my life with a lip balm with me, I can't cope without it. That is everything I take, I don't take anything else, and they stay in my pockets, and I just keep them to me, and I don't, don't like do anything else, that is it. Um, but obviously you might need something with you for whatever reason. I'm not going to say you're not allowed to bring what you want with you. Um, but just, yeah, try and keep what you have on you to a minimum and try and keep it literally stuck to your person. Like, if you've got a jacket that's got inside pockets on and you're going to wear that, keep them on the inside. Don't wear, don't wear all your things on the outside. Just be sensible with your belongings because you don't want to end up to a point where someone's stolen all your money and your ticket home or even your ticket to the show for whatever reason. Maybe you've ended up in a large crowd in the queue. Just make sure that you are safe and secure with your belongings. Um, and my next one is again something that I have experienced um, and that is don't force people to do what they don't want to do and don't like um, and trying to be respectful to how other people enjoy their concert and what I mean by this is um it was at the Epica and um oh Olivetti gig um that tour um and people were pitting um in the Olivetti part um and this guy grabs my arm with both hands, firmly grabs my arm and starts dragging me into the pit and I'm going, no, no, because I don't like pits. I don't like them. I don't, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to hurt anyone and it's not for me. You can, all go, you can all go do that over there, that's fine, but leave me to stand over here and stay away from it, thanks. Um, and this guy just grabbed me and was not letting go and I was literally screaming no in his face and he was just he was keeping going for it so my friend she um she actually had a pint on her at the time and um she chucked the pint so she had both hands to grab me and pull me back out of this man's grasp because he was just not letting go and I was fully screaming no at him and trying to get out of this grip and it took the two of us to get me away from him um so yeah please don't do that to people who don't want to because again it's not it's not nice and it's not safe. If someone is not wanting to be in that pit, maybe it's because they don't know how to be in a pit. Like, I couldn't tell you if there is a good way that you're supposed to mosh pit because I have no idea, because I just stick to myself. What I like to do at a gig is windmill by myself and I try and have enough room so that my hair isn't like hitting anyone. I don't want to like upset anyone or anything. Um, so that's what I want to do, I just want to stay to myself, please get off my person, I don't want you touching me to drag me into some pit. Um, so yeah, that is, uh, that is a very important tip, you need to be respectful of other people and um, I think this is part of the reason why in my London vlog about Epica that I was so upset that they made us all split in half and do a wall of death because I don't like it and I don't think it's safe and I just don't agree with this thing like I don't I don't understand why it's a thing to hurt other people at gigs and if you want to do it fine but just don't make me do it I'm sorry if I sound a bit preachy and judgy but I just don't it really makes me uncomfortable anyways so yes and then my last tip is enjoy yourself and have fun make sure though that you're doing it in a safe way and what I mean by this is if you want to drink, that's great. Have fun. I don't really drink. I'm quite a sober person. Um, but just don't get so trashed that you can't look after yourself. Because if you get split up from your friends for whatever reason, like say there is a wall of death, and you're so drunk you can barely hold yourself up, 
you're gonna have to make sure that you're around a really kind stranger in order to be okay otherwise you're just gonna kind of get trampled on and it's not gonna end well and I don't want you to be in that situation um, amongst other things that could happen and obviously be careful with your drinks unfortunately people like to tamper with them um, and yeah just try and keep aware of yourself while still enjoying yourself having fun have a beer if that's what you like whatever but just make sure that you're aware of what you're doing because again I want you to be safe <laughs> this is a huge part of this whole the whole gigging experience and I know it sounds like I'm being really preachy and these might not be the tips and trips tricks that you're wanting but this is what is important in a situation like this where you are surrounded by a crowd of strangers and anything can happen luckily I have never been in this kind of situation because I've never really had one drink at a gig um, but I have been with someone who has been incredibly drunk and kind of had to look after them um, and I actually ended up covered in beer, thanks <laughs> this is someone who is still my friend, like, I, I, I love them but that's like the, that was the first time we ever met, it was at Epic a gig where he spilled his entire pint down my back um, and uh, he actually ended up on the floor of Manchester station anyways yeah so just it's all about being safe unfortunately I don't like to be preachy about this but yes um another thing that I would like to say that is if you decide that you want to like film and take pictures and whatever I don't really tend to do this I'll take a couple of pictures maybe but like I don't I like to just get into the gig and like like I say I like to just windmill basically for two hours um but make sure that you're doing it not completely blocking someone else's view a lot of gigs i've been at has literally been someone's camera like this right in my eye line and i'm like oh okay right looks like i'm not going to see this band then and i have to try and shuffle myself around to look and it's just just be a little bit more considerate when you're filming or taking pictures and i mean personally i just don't i don't see the appeal of just filming it and not actually enjoying it for yourself but if you want to do that kind of maybe think is it, is it going to be okay? Am I going to be blocking this tiny human being behind me's view even though I'm already taller than them and she's already struggling to look around me which is usually the case because it seems to me that I always get stuck behind the tallest people at the whole show. I am not a tall human being. I am five foot four. That is not very big. Um, so yeah, that's another point that I'd like to make. Um, one thing that I like to do whenever possible is I am one of those people that will queue outside a lot um, and wait and wait and wait. I have done it for full days to see Evanescence and still not been the first person. Um, I have also been the other way though where the first ever Epica gig I went to we actually came in late and we'd missed the first band I think entirely. I think Stream of Passion were just starting up and they were the second band um, and we just strolled on in and we're in the second row. Like we just literally strolled on in, which sadly probably says something about the popularity of Epica, especially in the uh, Requiem for Indifferent times. That was the first time I ever saw them. I'm a bit late on the bandwagon, sorry. Um, but yeah, um, another thing actually, I keep coming up with more of these, is where if you're going to a huge arena show and you are a small human being like me, I would recommend getting as good a seat as possible maybe not standing because if you're at the back of that you are not seeing anything and it's huge crush and they're just um, arena crowds are just a lot more scary than like small intimate shows which is what I prefer I prefer to go to like a smaller uh, venue and which is mostly what I get because of the bands I like but because obviously I went to see Nightwish at Wembley I didn't even consider standing I was like we are getting the best seats that I can find. I, luckily I'm on priority so I can get these tickets and I can get good seats and I got us good seats. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just basically it's all about making sure that you keep yourself safe and it's safe enough that you can enjoy that gig and have the best time ever. The, that is how I feel about this whole thing and that's what I try and do with me and my friends and I will always look out for my friends when I'm there and uh, yeah. Oh. Another thing actually, <laughs> as soon as you get out of a gig go and find as much food and drink as possible because your body needs that and if you don't you're going to feel sick and vomit on a train which is what my sister did, thanks Charlotte, <laughs> like all over a train table as well. 
Well, that was after, that was, uh, I actually took her to her, was that her first gig? I did take her to her first gig, but I can't remember if it was Lacuna Coil or Within Temptation, but that was the Within Temptation one that that thing happened anyways. So yeah, try and make sure that you eat and drink because otherwise your body will feel like death. Um, I should have maybe thought this video through again since apparently I've already filmed it once and it's gone wrong, but yeah, anyways, let's talk. Do you have anything you think I've missed out on? Do you want to talk to me about some of my experiences? Let's get talking about gigs. Let's have a nice time. And um, hopefully next time I see you, I'll have a slightly different look, uh, background. As you can see, this one's kind of a bit empty now. Where's Simone gone? Where's Sooty and Sweep? Where's 50 Tianas? <laughs> They're all packed. That's where they are. Um, so, yes. Thank you so much if you've been patient enough and you're still um, supporting me on this channel because I know that I have kind of you all a bit with how much I've been missing and um, I will see you all again soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!